Hello, I'm John Folks. Let's grow something. Uh, today we're going to go look at what a volunteer plant is. I've got them all over my garden. I'm just going to point out a few and then I'm going to try to get some into a better location and I'll transplant them. So come on. So what is a volunteer plant? Well, a volunteer plant is any plant that has self-seeded itself somewhere in your garden. Uh, if it self-seeded itself in the garden, that's the basic definition of a, uh, a volunteer plant. Typically something you want to keep. Uh, like the Swiss chard here, though some of these are going to seed, so I'm just going to pull them out. Um, maybe make some more room for the ones in between. <laughs> maybe I'll be able to save a few of these guys. Just too many in one spot. They tip typically go to seed because they're overstressed. But they're all volunteers. So if I can get them thin enough. So these volunteers are probably fine in this pot. Um, for now, uh, I do have volunteers in other parts of the garden that need to be moved though. So here we have a lemon balm and it's in the one of my main gardens here and it's very healthy. My problem is is lemon balm's a mint and mints will take over. So I'm going to put it into its own little pot so that it doesn't take over. Yeah, it'll like that. It'll do well there too. You can tell when something's lemon ball, man. I'll tell you what, it's a mint. It's gonna have a square stem. And uh, I don't know if you can see how square that stem is. It's gonna have a square stem and it's, it smells like lemon. It smells like a lemon right off the bat. Very nice plant. And uh, I'll just uh, throw some water on that. Put it here with the other lemon balms. These are two little parsleys that started themselves from a larger parsley that was in this garden last year. And uh, so they're volunteers. I'm going to just leave them right where they're at and uh, let them do their thing. They're fine. They've got plenty of room to grow and they'll keep the other weeds down like this one and that one. Okay, now for the past three years we've been uh, growing these here nasturtiums in these uh, pots. But every year they drop seeds, and I've never had to replant them after the first year. One of the nice things about nasturtiums is mm, they're tasty. They're uh, kind of like a radish in leaf form. So the problem is, is down here, you'll see that I've got several nasturtiums growing in the driveway. As I want to clean up this driveway, um, I'm going to be killing all the weeds. I hate to kill all these nasturtiums because I really like them. They're both edible and pretty when they grow grow to be full size. So I'm going to dig them up and move them. And these here would be volunteer nasturtiums. Well, I need some more pots. I'll be right back. Now that I've dug these up, I'm going to go find a place to plant them to where they can grow to their full size and look pretty for the, uh, for the front of the yard. So let's go back over by the uh, front area. I've got an empty bucket and uh, it's just got dirt in it. So I'm just going to put these right in there and water them. Here we are at the bucket where I'm going to plant these. And uh, I just noticed this is the bucket that has two little volunteer, uh, I'm going to guess colorabi right in this bucket. I'm just going to leave them in there. If they grow, they grow. At least they'll keep down the weeds versus having stuff I don't want at all. They're not hurting anything. If they live, they live. If they don't make it, that's fine too. I'm just going to plant these guys here quickly in this bucket. These guys have so much more dirt here than they had in the other place. They're going to love it. Okay. 
There we go. Got those in, the, those in there. And just looking for a second, right over here at the bottom of this other one near the hose. Look at what I just spotted. Look what we have right here. It's not even in dirt. It's just underneath. It's another little insertion. I'm gonna go ahead and break a couple leaves off of that. Broke the leaves off of it so that it would give the roots a little bit more chance to get a, a stronghold in this bucket. And I'm just gonna put it right here in here too. I think it's gonna like it way better than where it was. Okay, well, I've still got more of these here I need to pull up from different spots in the yard and the driveway. But those are volunteers. These just happen to be nasturtiums, but they can, a volunteer can be a little bit of anything. Uh, in southern climates, it might be a tomato plant or whatever. I mean, it, you just have stuff shoot up anywhere in your yard. So uh, watch out for your volunteers. Who knows, maybe you've got a place to plant them. You can just dig them up and put them someplace else. Okay, so here's all the, uh, Here's all the nasturtiums all in one place. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, about 23 plants um, pulled out of the driveway before I take out all the weeds. So uh, there we go. I think I'll go let these guys grow someplace. Uh, see you next time.